hello so I thought I'd do uh, one of my honest vlogs today um, and it's kind of a subject I've I've talked about already and that is like social anxiety and just being generally socially awkward I'm not really going to concentrate on my personal story but I just wanted to talk about what happens when a group of socially awkward people get together because Last week, you'll have seen in uh, my vlog that I did covering a week in my life, that I went to the Kerrang uh, nominations party. Now, I know this sounds like a really fun thing to go to and these like parties and events sound like, oh, wicked, I'd love to go to that sort of thing. Or maybe, maybe it sounds horrible, I don't know. But to me, there's definitely at least equal part dread if not more, um, to going to a thing like this. Um, usually I don't get plus ones, luckily this time I did, so I was able to bring a friend, so that felt a bit like a nice comforting buffer that I knew at least there'd be someone there that I could talk to even when my mingling wasn't going too well. Um, so went in, I was quite early, so it wasn't too busy when I arrived, which was Part of me thinks, oh, that's good because it means there's not so many people there going to look round when you come in the door and make you feel nervous. But at the same time, you feel a bit exposed because there's not a big crowd. So I, I couldn't decide whether that was a good thing or bad thing. But I'm always early. It's just the way I am. So me and Poppy found, a, you know, one of those corners in the room that felt a bit safe and just chatted. And then she said, I need the loo. And I'd just been, so I didn't feel like I could go again. So then I was left outside in this room on my own. And obviously the panic starts to set in a bit with that. And I, I'd done everything I needed to do on my phone. I checked my Twitter and Instagram. And uh, so I just started filming some stuff. So it looked like I was being productive and busy. But anyway, I thought to myself, I'm going to tr really try tonight and, you know, speak to people even if you know, fear tells me that I don't really want to do it. Um, so I did um, make a point of not doing my usual, which is um, putting my head down, my eyes down and pretending I haven't seen people. Um, I thought on a few occasions I looked up straight and waved like really confidently or made a point of going over, giving a hug, saying hi and trying to do like the confident hi chat sort of thing. Um, this actually takes a lot of energy to do if it's something that's not natural to you or if you are a bit nervous or a bit awkward about it. So um, it started to dwindle a little bit and um, I did start to do the whole pretend I haven't seen you thing, which is a dreadful thing to do, but it's not because I don't like a person or, or um, I'm rude. It is purely uh, a shyness thing obviously when you've done that when you look back on the evening you you make it worse for yourself in the long run and for the next event because you think oh last time I blanked them a bit or last time I kind of did make an effort to say hi so maybe they don't think I'm very nice now so then it just kind of breeds paranoia and further stress about being sociable so it is doesn't make sense to do it but as you know if you're also an awkward person you just do it but why what, what the main point of this video is that I wanted to say that it became clear to me that the that I wasn't alone in being awkward in this sort of scenario of industry people all getting together there was a lot of people doing similar things to me and um, it was quite bizarre because I didn't say hello to someone that I know reasonably well someone that I should feel confident enough to say hi and have a chat with um, so I emailed the next day saying you know sorry we didn't get to chat and stuff and she replied saying that she hadn't felt comfortable she was feeling anxious about the situation too and she hadn't been good at saying hello and it just dawned on me that like a huge percentage of us are actually feeling the exact same thing and if we just were honest with each other about it or all try to break through that barrier these situations would be a lot more pleasurable a lot more fun and a lot 
more stress-free than they are. When I was in the um, in my frame of mind where I was trying to break through this and be confident so and talk to people, um, a few of them went really well and I was glad I did it and thought, okay, this is this is okay, I can do this. And then there would be moments where I could feel there was some awkwardness and tension in the group. So I'd say something that kind of embarrassed me, made me look silly, but that I hoped would relax everyone else and put them at ease and maybe make the situation a bit more fun and calm. And some people responded well to that and were very quick to, to kind of join in with that theme and um, make the situation relaxed with me and then there are others that made me feel stupid and embarrassed for doing that which I think is a shame because what I was doing was coming from a good place and wanting to make the situation nice for everyone. I I just think it'd be nice if everyone was a bit more mindful to the fact that not everyone's feeling comfortable or confident um, that some people at these events don't have best friends with them. They they maybe feel a bit like a fish out of water and to just make sure that everyone, that you put an effort to make sure everyone feels comfortable. If you see that person alone, maybe go up and say hi. Um, just those little things make such a difference. I don't know what it is about the music industry, but the more and more I talk about it, the more and more people come forward from the industry and tell me that they suffer with um, social anxiety or just generally being awkward in social situations, being shy, etc. Um, I don't know whether people that immerse themselves in music and bands do so because they find life situations tough, perhaps it's a they go to it for comfort, um, perhaps it's an escape, um, and perhaps people like get into bands because then they can be belong to something, you know, going to gigs, they suddenly become part of a community. So maybe that's why there are so many people in this industry, particularly in per perhaps other creative industries that um, do struggle with this side of things. I think the main problem for me is I don't live in London and obviously because of my health issues I I often am the person that leaves early so I'll do the work side of things, I'll get the interview done, the review done or whatever but then I won't stay for the socialising bit afterwards, you know, they're actually getting to know the PRs and the other journalists and um, having drinks and relaxing and talking about non-work stuff. So I never break through that barrier of just being um, a co-worker or a collaborator or um, uh, what's the word that's when you're not a friend and a not associate uh, when you're not quite a friend. You know that word. What is that word? Um, Because we're not quite cemented as like firm friends, I never know whether to be, to give them a hug, whether I should give them a kiss, whether I should say hello, or whether they'd even remember who I am. And if they remember who I am, I always think, would they even want to talk to me? But the fact of the matter is, even if they don't remember you, it's, probably, it's just nice to say hello to anyone, isn't it, really? I think I've got to remind myself that it's probably better to say hi, um, just say hi, how are you, nice to see you, rather than do the whole pretend I haven't seen you thing, the blank look, the look away thing, because at least then I'm not left with that paranoia that they think I'm rude or um, whatever, at least then I've been polite, I've been friendly, I've been nice and they can't really, really say anything bad. If it turns out they didn't remember who I am or whatever, then I guess I can live with that. I don't really know what the point of this video is, but I just wanted to say that if you are awkward at these kind of social events where there's lots of people, um, you are definitely not alone. I'd say a larger percentage of people at these events are probably feeling awkward than they are relaxed. So 
maybe if you just are honest about it, other people will be honest about it too, and perhaps you can have a giggle about it. Um, let's just make life a lot easier for each other if we can. Um, life throws out so many stresses and strains. If we can have a nice time at a social event, then surely we should try and make that happen. So, do you suffer from social anxiety or just feeling generally awkward in group settings? Let me know. Let me know how you deal with it or any stories you have relating to it. Um, once again, if you have any topics you want me to, you know, ramble on about, I will do that. Um, hope you're all well. And once again, thanks so much for always being so lovely to me in the comments. Um, it really does perk me up on those days that I'm feeling a bit... which happen a bit too often. So thanks again and lots of love.